Hey guys, my name is Christy Nix. I'm going to tell you a little bit about my Juice Plus journey. Um, I mean, from, from the start, when I heard about Juice Plus as a product, when I learned about the Transform 30 program, the 10 day shred program, and the business, I was skeptical. I was too stubborn to ask the questions that didn't make sense to me. So first and foremost, please just feel comfortable asking us the tough questions. If it doesn't make sense to you, just tell us. We'll totally answer your question and help you see if this is the right fit for you or not. So back in 2004, I was in college and I was eating a bunch of McDonald's and Dunkin' Donuts. And this doctor and his wife, who's a personal trainer, they, they actually paid me to come to a Juice Plus event because really they were probably tired of seeing McDonald's and Dunkin' Donuts bags in the back of my car and eating that stuff in front of their children. Um, but Juice Plus didn't make sense to me. But eating more fruits and vegetables did. Unfortunately, it took me four years to finally adapt a fruit, more fruit and veggie lifestyle um, into my life. But during that time, my husband, who was deployed, he, um, he heard about Juice Plus from a nurse friend of his, and he got Juice Plus right away, mailed some to me, and I ate it to prove him wrong. <laughs> so here I am today. So, uh, but once I became vegan, um, I really started to understand that, you know, our DNA is not our destiny, and whoever eats the most fruits and vegetables wins. So I finally embraced fruits and vegetables in the capsule. I finally embraced what Juice Plus could do for the body, but when the T30 program came along, I was like, well, come on, I've been eating these products since 2006. In 2008, I became a vegan. So this stuff is in my blood. Um, I did not think that this program was gonna do anything for me. But when I, when I did it, um, I gave up gluten and dairy and I found out that I have an intolerance to both of them. And that explained why I had all these migraines, why I couldn't always think clearly. It was brain foggy and it had lifted, literally it had lifted. And then the fluffiness in my stomach had gone away and what girl doesn't want that. So I was in like T30 lifestyle, that's happened in T365 for the most part with some cheat days. So you can imagine when the 10 day shred was introduced, I was like, okay, so, so 10 days I'm gonna feel better. What, what is it gonna do? But if there's something that I've learned with working with this company is that Science and data mean a lot. Before and after photos are fantastic. They're really, really helpful, but I wanted to see what's it doing to my body. So I went to this bod pod. It's a spaceship looking thing where you sit in it for maybe two minutes and it kind of like, I don't know, the best way I can describe it is that it sucks the air and it tells you, it gives you a printout over how much fat mass you have, which most people don't really want to know, but it also tells you how much muscle mass you have. And my goal, was to put on more muscle mass. Because number one, most people are skeptical that vegans can do it, so first I wanna prove that wrong. But also, we, see, we hear all the time that this program builds me muscle mass, and I wanted to see the proof printed out on paper. So I did two rounds of the 10 day shred because you can't go back to the bod pod until 30, 30 days later. I got in a few days early, so in less than 30 days, we found that I had lost two pounds of fat, which I didn't anticipate doing, and I gained three pounds of muscle. And this was not me do, doing this program perfect. So I was stoked about those results. And I thought, what would happen if I could take this challenge every 10 days and hone in and do a little bit better than I did before? Or maybe there's times when life happens and really fun things are happening and I can't make the best decisions. At least I can learn the tools to help do better than what I would have done before. So that's what this summer shred is all about. It's about helping you make better decisions when you are going out to the beach and what to pack and how to feed your family correctly. But also what it's doing is it's setting you up with some really awesome tools to take into the fall season. Because in the fall season, that's when you wanna have your routine back. That's when you wanna eat healthier. That's when people get back into the gym the most. But it's also the season where you get sick the most. So by protecting your body, which is plus, eating more fruits and vegetables throughout the summertime, getting more active and following all the other guidelines that we have, I guarantee you're setting yourself up for success come fall season. So I recommend you totally try the 10 day shred. See what happens the next four months on these 10 day increments or do 10 days and then figure out what works for you the rest of the summer. But I recommend it. It's amazing. You will be so thankful and you're so worth it to see what it can do for you for the next four months. But ask us the tough questions. If this seems too good to be true, let us know. We're totally fine with answering questions for you.